I break things. And I lose things. And things don't end up the way I would like to have them end up. You might notice an old pair of glasses on my face this week. That's because last week I managed to break my relatively new glasses. And the replacement just hasn't arrived yet. I can count the pairs of glasses I've broken over the 60 or so years I've worn them on one hand. So it doesn't happen very often. But it's never convenient. We just put brand new tires on my wife's car. They have less than 100 miles on them. She managed to jump a curb and put a huge gash in the right rear tire sidewall this past week. In the past year, I've lost or misplaced a watch, a golf club, two or three favorite baseball caps. It's easy to look at these adventures as part of the aging process, but I can recall these happening 20, 30, even 40 years ago. I don't believe the losing and breaking beyond usefulness phenomenon is neither unique to me or my age group. It's a fact of life. Some keep track of things better than others, and I'm just not one of them. Fifteen years ago, I would lose something and really beat myself up over it. I broke more Kodak ZI8 cameras, which I used to use to make these videos until cell phones got so good, than I could count. It would make me mad, trigger anger feelings, until I decided it was part of my existence and engineered a way to make peace with these episodes. I've given it such thought over the years that... For the past 10 or 15 years, my wife and I have actually budgeted for lost and broken stuff. That's right. My wife's an accountant, so that probably had something to do with it. But I'm a life and executive coach who does his best to get across to people that occasionally our expectations, no matter how high or low, are just not met. A great deal of my coaching message has to do with letting go, managing expectations, not making assumptions, not taking things personally, not subjecting one's self to disappointment. By budgeting for these personal losses, missing an action, breakage, not getting somewhere on time, yada, 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 both financially and emotionally, I find I can simply debit that account and move on. The money or the energy or the attitude is set aside precisely for the purpose of putting the issue behind me and stepping out. When I was not budgeting, then every little tragedy was a hit to my emotional bottom line. And if it cost me money to boot, well, oh my God. I'm reminded that Major League Baseball players make millions of dollars a year failing to reach base 60 to 70% of the time. I can handle a broken pair of glasses that will be back next month without suffering emotional distraction because I budgeted for it. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.